My name is Mitchell Seabury, and I'm a member of MTK Outdoors. Now, here on the MTK team, we ask you guys on the Instagram to ask a bunch of questions. And we were presented with a question that struck us a little bit. Uh, a viewer asked, why do you enjoy killing animals? Now, we at the MTK Outdoors team understand that sometimes when you look at hunting from a non-hunting life, like let's say you're, you know, never even thought about hunting, you've never seen hunting, you've never been hunting, and then you look in at it from an outside view, um, it can look brutal, disgusting, repulsive. We understand that completely. But I just want to say a couple things to try to ease your mind a little bit about hunting and the great passion that we love and enjoy. So, first of all, it's not that we love killing animals, but there is a connection and a passion that we have when we're out there. To be close with wildlife, to be one with nature, and experience the incredible thing of, of, of hunting and pursuing an animal, tracking that animal, and just being around and in nature. Uh, it's, it's such a deep connection that so little people feel. And you might ask, well, why don't you just take a picture of the animal? Why do you have to shoot it and kill it? Well, that's where wild game comes in. The cooking, the processing, it's the healthiest meat out there is to process a grouse or a deer or a black bear and eat it. It is lean, it is healthy, and it is taking an animal from their natural habitat, yes, harvesting it and using it. But that shouldn't be crazy because humans have hunted for food ever since humans were a thing. So it is kind of flabbergasting that somebody would say that hunting is crazy and disgusting when not hunting is actually a fairly new practice. You know, just in the past 100 years of the more than a million years humans and human ancestors have been around is that past a hundred years that the act of not hunting is a fairly new practice. Now, it's funny. The person who asked this question on our Instagram, I personally witnessed them order chicken on their burrito. Now, there's no way you can skirt around this. If you are eating any form of an animal, that animal had to be killed. So how can you be anti-hunting when you order chicken on your burrito? That chicken had to be killed to be put in your burrito. So let me give you a, a parallel example because I hear a lot of people say this. Um, they're eating steak that they just got from Wegmans. And they're telling me how terrible, brutal, and cruel hunting a deer and killing it is killing it right out of its natural habitat. Now, what you did was pick up a steak from Wegmans, pretty much go like this, like you guys can kill that animal for me and I'm not going to look. It's not considered bad because I'm not doing it and I'll eat it. Okay. Do you see how crazy that is? Me, Casey, Trevor, and so many other hunters are choosing to harvest game ourselves and take it out of the wild while all you're doing is hiding your eyes and letting someone package it and put it on a table for you. That, to me, is pretty repulsive. Another point I want to make is when it comes to animal processing, processing of the actual meat, from animal living to table, the commercial way of doing things is much more inhumane than harvesting it yourself, and I can tell you why. If you've ever watched a video of how they process, whether it's a cow, a pig, or a chicken, in these commercial places, 
you would be absolutely disgusted. And you're eating chicken on a burrito. What happened to that chicken? These animals are pumped with preservatives. They kill them by electrocution. They Sometimes they don't even kill them straight off, and they start processing the animal while it's still alive so that the animal will taste better on the table for you. If you watched a video of a cow being processed to make it get to beef, they put the cow in a machine, they flip it around, they slit its throat, they hang it up. It is absolutely much, much worse than what we are doing out in the woods. A parallel scenario, but with us. We're going out with a bow and arrow. We shoot a deer. It runs off. It lays down. It dies. We go. We process that animal. And the same product comes out. It's meat. Next point. When you say that humans should not be killing animals, that is a sense of superiority. You know, maybe this one is a little more radical of a view, but I don't really think about humans as way up here and all other animals are here. I think of all species are just about the same, but we are species, just like a bear, just like a deer, we're all animals. And we are in the food chain. So it's not crazy for a human to harvest a deer, just like a wolf can harvest a deer. You're still harvesting prey or another species, just like any other animal. Next point, how much have you personally, because I have seen very many, many things of, let's say posts, just like we post us harvesting game or us out in the wild, you may post something about saving animals. There's something about protect the ocean, do this, do that, save habitat. How much money have hunters put towards saving habitat and saving animals versus the anti-hunters? And I'll prove it to you. Just between Casey, Trevor, and I, we've been hunting since we were 12 years old. It's approximately to get all the licenses $80, $90 a piece. So let's say it's $90. 90 times 3 is $270. $270, and we're about 18 years old, for six years. So that's $270, six years in a row, that's the money that comes from buying the licenses. Now, purposefully, in hunting stores, when you buy a gun, when you buy a bow, when you buy a crossbow, any hunting equipment has a tax. That tax goes towards the environmental organizations that's keeping the habitat for the animals. And all that money that I just talked about, we have bought guns upon guns and bows and hunting equipment you wouldn't believe. Imagine, add up the tax, add up the money I just said where we're talking about the licenses. I guarantee you, you have not donated even close to that amount of money that we have. Not even a hint of it. So, I'm going to wrap this up. If there's any point where you'd like to have a discussion about this, I'm absolutely open to do so. Uh, there is no disrespect between any of this, but Trevor, Casey, and I here at MTK Outdoors... This is our passion, and we would not put down somebody else about their passion. Um, this is my reasoning for why hunting is not what it may seem to someone who doesn't hunt, and maybe uh, you can look at it a different way. So thank you for your question, and again, I'm not telling you you have to hunt. I'm not telling you you should hunt. I'm saying this is what we do, and it's not simply just murdering animals.